Hello, welcome. I'm gonna play VR Baseball 99 on the original PlayStation. This game released in 1998. A lot of sports games will put the year after in the title, you know, the year after it released, just to make it appear to be the most recent game. It's just a marketing thing to attract buyers to uh, go for the what they would think is the newest version so I'm going to play an exhibition game there's three difficulty levels rookie pro and all-star I'm not entirely sure what the best one to do I don't want the game to drag on it will probably go about 45 minutes an hour if I play on pro struggle if I keep giving up hits <laughs> but yeah maybe we'll go with that you can't play season and home run derby as well it's a lot of options to mess with I'm just gonna leave them on the default you can see there's different pitch speeds fielding assistance which I might need I'm gonna play on pro let me up that a bit So, I'm going to play as a National League team, so I will not have the DH. Guess they don't know how to back out of this there you go, triangle button. Something you'll notice with the audio is there are no announcers in this game. Now, commentary was becoming you know, pretty normal I guess regular in most sports games but this game doesn't have that which I'm fine with you get to hear the uh, stadium noises a lot better alright so I'm going to go with the expansion teams So, in 1998, this is the first year of the Arizona Diamondbacks and Tampa Bay Devil Rays, now called the Rays. When I play games, like baseball games on this channel, I often go with the, uh, the World Series teams the year before. Now, Tampa was one of those. But I think I've played as Los Angeles once before, and I just thought it'd be unique to um, look back at the expansion teams when they were brand new. You just read this. Uh, I have no idea. Such an odd thing though, you'd think it'd have to be true. So here's the Tampa Bay lineup. Without the DH, it does keep Sorrento on the bench who has a lot of home runs. And it's not a bad team. Being an expansion team, you're not gonna have the best players, but there's some good veterans on here. Wade Boggs and Fred McGriff. The Diamondbacks have Devon White, Jay Bell, Travis Lee, Matt Williams. Lee being you know, their main draft pick. Andy Bennis is the starter here. There you get to hear you know, the stadium announcer instead of a television broadcast. There's nothing on screen which makes it a little difficult to remember everything. Like, you know, like something will show you what each button does. 
I, I looked at the manual, so I kind of know. I just have to remember what. Like the pitches, it's four pitches. Every pitcher has a slider, curve, and fastball, and then a specialty pitch. Today's games are more, you know, give, they give you exactly the type of pitches that particular pitcher will have. So some might only have three pitches, some might have five pitches. You know, some will definitely throw change-ups, but here we're limited to these four. And then you also have to pick the pitch speed. You hear it click each time I, I press the button. It's not the... Uh, Controller, it's the game like signifying I've selected now something. The third baseman, Wade Boggs. Careful, I really should bother <laughs> trying to be. And there he gets a hit. Of course, the graphics, I mean, now they look they ugly, obviously, <laughs> compared to today. These are early 3D graphics, the polygons. Oh, he was close to giving that a ride. Oh, I couldn't tell which way that was going. I thought it was going to center field. All right, strikeout would be nice. God, that's... That umpire's great when he calls the strikeout. swing at almost everything. <laughs> I know it's never a walk in these games. Oh, it's slow. Can you make it though? Nope. Not even close. Now batting, number 33, Jay Bell. Boy, the player is just <laughs> leaving the field. Right before that pitch, you see him running behind the pitcher. Anyway, for 1999, I mean, or for 1998 actually, the graphics aren't bad. I mean, a couple years into the PlayStation life cycle. I liked this game when I was younger. I mean, you look back, sports games in particular, I mean, they don't entirely age well. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I think they couldn't decide if they were going to run to the base, which they should have, or throw to the pitcher, taking his time getting over there, but I made it. Yeah, it's like once you reached 3D graphics, sports games, I think, stopped aging very well. Jeez, that was fine and slow. But when you go back to the Genesis the early games, I think they hold up just because they're so simplistic. And the pixel graphics help too. You can see the crowd is very ugly, it's just very flat. Yes, they didn't give me a hit. Yes. They didn't give anyone an error either, that's bizarre. I don't know what <laughs> I got on base though. Now batting, the left Mike Kelly. So if you are baseball, probably not all that well known. It only lasted three games. This is the second. First one was on PlayStation, like this one, and then the third one was on PC.
published by Interplay, I believe developed by Interplay as well. The Interplay, I don't know if any bit of it exists still. It tried to come back. Still held some properties, but... Oh, hey, Ronnie. Oh, I thought I got him. I didn't get him. There are replays in this. Ball beat him, but oh well. Yeah, I was saying interplay. Interplay. I used to like interplay, but oh, cotton candy man! <laughs> you can hear the vendors, which I think is great. Titus Software got involved buying controlling interest in Interplay, I believe, and then it just kind of fell apart. It happens to many companies. That was a great strikeout. Interplay, if you're a young gamer, you might not know much about it. Published some big games or developed some big games. Big on RPGs in the 80s, Wasteland, Bard's Tale. And it also published batting, its Black Isle Martinez, Studios through and Baldur's Gate and Icewind Dale. It's a great company at one time. Tried its hand at sports. A lot of team well, a lot of publishers, almost all of them, probably all the big ones were trying sports games at one point. Even Bethesda made sports games before you know, Elder Scrolls. Sports games were huge in the 90s, late 80s too. I mean, most publishers wanted to get in on that money that EA Sports is pulling in. So, you play at a lot of competition. I mean, Along with EA's Trickle Play, Sega's World Series, Nintendo's Ken Griffey Jr. games, there's so many. I don't know what exactly was out in 98, but the claim had Frank Thomas, Big Hurt Baseball, and then All-Star Baseball. Like even Crystal Dynamics tried 3D Baseball. And the 3DO company had High Heat Baseball. Oh, that would a good hit, but it's fair. I think RBI Baseball, Bases Loaded, and Hardball were, were still around, too. So, you know, most fans aren't going to buy more than one or two games a season, so... You know, all these baseball series really couldn't survive. Yeah, that was going outside. Like I said, I, I like to swing at everything. Oh, he died. A good dive. I don't know what the dive button is if I need to use it. Oh, where's it going? Into the gap. Really big outfield. This, of course, is Bank One Ballpark, now called Chase Field. But when it was brand new, it was, you know, corporate sponsorship was Bank One. And then Chase Bank acquired Bank One. So the stadium got renamed to Chase Field. Oh, that's the last out. Too bad. We look right above his head, all the way to the top. <laughs> they were rotating there. That's where I sat at the very highest row possible. At the very first game in Diamondbacks history, I was there.
They lost to the Rockies. But you just, you know, there's an experience to be there for a team's first game in history. I think they're cheap, too. I mean, they weren't price gouging. They got the tickets. But they were being the highest row possible. <laughs> they're only five bucks. Maybe you couldn't see too well. Photo error. I said pretty far out there though for the All-Star game too. I went to the uh, one All-Star game that was it. It was in Arizona. Doesn't seem like so long ago, but I think it was all the way back. I want to say 2009 if that's right. Probably doesn't, maybe I'm wrong. Whatever, they only had one All-Star game there, so it was that one. Just sit out in right field. Got more than five bucks. Oh man, they're just getting hit after hit now. I don't know what to make of the ballpark. I mentioned like every baseball video I'm a Yankees fan. So of course I like the original Yankee Stadium, which is now gone. I have been to the newer one once, but I like you know the classic feel outdoor stadium. This field the stadium it's a dome stadium, retractable roof. It's like a big rectangle. Oh boy, base is loaded. I gotta be a little more careful here. Uh oh, Grand Slam. Ah. Wow. No, it was a home run. <laughs> oh man. I think that was Fred McGriff, wasn't it? Couldn't see where the ball was. Man, I thought it might be foul. Oh well, they got a grand slam. Yeah, I'll take the pitcher out next time he comes up to bat. Should be the next inning. Oh, oh. Yes, the stadium. To me feels like a warehouse, a giant warehouse. <laughs> it's just... I've been to, of course, the Skydome I mentioned, another retractable roof stadium. But that one doesn't feel as... I the right word is, it's just... It just doesn't feel the same as you know, going to a Yankee Stadium. Oh, nice double play. I've been to Shea Stadium as well. That, that I think was the worst stadium I've been to. Never got to Fenway, even though I lived in Connecticut. Because Arizona and Florida, where both these teams are based, they're also home of um, spring training, which. Oh, I was going to have a pinch hit. I just swung off the rough. Oh, well, let's see. I think it's one of the problems with these teams didn't really take off with as far as fan base. Arizona's in better shape. And a strikeout. This Tampa has kind of a junky stadium and Arizona built this brand new one at the time. Plus I think spring training was just a was bigger in Florida for a long time, but thing with these states is they have so many because the spring training they all already have a lot of baseball fans I guess but they already have the teams they like before these teams showed up because even the Marlins which was an expansion team before in 1993 doesn't have a big fan base either Arizona has a lot of Cubs fans I think Florida probably has a lot of Yankees fans. Yeah, I gotta change my pitcher. Oh, his ERA. Terrible. 
Uh, don't, I don't know. Let's try Brian Anderson, I guess. John Flaherty. The lefty. I've been to a bunch of spring training games. There's some nice spring training facilities. I think I've seen a lot of the teams that play in Arizona. I lived there for nine years, so went to a bunch of spring training games. They're generally inexpensive. That's quite some time ago. <laughs> the price may be higher now, but a lot of the West Coast teams play out there. Pretty sure I've seen most of them. Well, the Cubs are out there. I saw them. Mariners, Athletics, Angels, Dodgers, Padres. I probably saw the Rockies too. I think they're out there. And I saw them obviously in the first game. I think on the ballpark as well. I did see a player hit for the cycle in spring training. I never saw that in the majors. I don't remember his full name, I think. Last name was Dunn. He was on Milwaukee. But I don't think he made the majors. Diamondbacks actually. We're trying to get a new stadium. No, this one's not that old and man, it costs a fortune. I don't I don't think it's gonna build a new one, but they were trying a few years back, complaining about a number of things. This parts of it might have been falling apart already. Man, stadiums are just He's going. Nice. Glad they yelled he's going. <laughs> I don't know who yelled that, but somebody. <laughs> Stadium has a swimming pool out in right field. Another odd addition, but it's out there behind the wall. I don't know if you can really see it in this game, but I assume they drew something in there. People do actually, I mean, it's not something you can go and just walk in if you're going to the game, you have to have a special pass or ticket to get in there. People do go there and swim in the pool while there's a game going on. It's kind of odd. Can't imagine they care that much about the game. Oh boy, keep us flying out. I did play, I did one recording before this. I played on rookie difficulty. I hit a home run with Matt Williams and the computer hit a couple home runs, but I won four to two. But I can't get too many hits here at all. Getting booed now. I did like this game when I had it new. It's hard to, to really remember how good it is or how bad a game is, you know. Unless they're just plain awful, but. I have to look at some other games that were available at the time. I would do the full season play and it was, it was fun. I like hearing the background noises at the stadium. This is like the midway point in the game. Oh, 
course, if I, I'm probably going to lose, then we'll have to go to the bottom of the ninth to see that. He's got it. Touch him? Ah, I thought I had a strike him out, throw him out, but I guess he missed. This Wade Boggs had his 3,000th hit with the Rays, which was a home run. Oh, maybe I can get on a strike out here. Oh, I think he might have caught the edge. Yeah! Well, aside from the Grand Slam, not pitching too bad. Just gotta get some hits. First, didn't take the Diamondbacks long to win the World Series. And they spent the money. We got, of course, Randy Johnson, Kurt Schilling, and beat the Yankees off Luis Gonzalez. Little boop single off Mariano Rivera. A lot of teams. Well, Florida Marlins did something similar, really. I mean, they spend the money on one great season, win the World Joel Series, and then just don't have the money to retain everybody. Tampa, though, is competitive. Even with the low payroll, which is really good. Good farm system, I guess good scouting. So when you can't pay the players when they get become stars and free agency, you just... Replace them with more talented guys from the farm system and keep going. Oh, I can't buy a hit here. But swinging at everything helps helps keep the game not for not being too long. Okay, here's Freddie Griff, the crime dog. He is probably the best hitter in this lineup. At least as far as power. I mean, Wade Boggs. Best singles hitter in the lineup, but... Just probably best overall for power. I have a hard time seeing the ball hit the ground. These choppers. I noticed that a lot in the last time I played. I kept thinking they were lineouts, but they were... They must be like, bouncing them near home plate. Oh boy, is that falling? Sometimes it's also hard to pick the ball up. And it's over the dirt. Part of it is uh, I'm also playing on a tiny TV. I mentioned this at the, the first PlayStation game. I played on this channel, which is Star Wars, Masters of Tereskasi. I can't get the, uh, the PlayStation 3 recording device to output to my main television. So I have this dinky TV here. Back to me, up the middle. Big lead now, big that it works lead. on, but it's just the screen's rather small. John Flaherty. I'm giving a bunch of hits again. Come on, no stick. Let's change pictures. That guy has no stats at all. Let's see. He has a change up. Well, they all have change ups for their specialty pitch, I guess. Almost <laughs> everyone except Omar Dahl has a change up. He has sinker for his specialty your attention please now pitching number 22 
Oh, they didn't say his name. I wonder what his first name was. Big lead now, big lead. I don't know who he is. All right, bad start. Uh oh. Ah, oh, fielder was running and then he stopped. It threw me off. I don't know why he did that. Dave Martinez. Oh, base is loaded. One out. Oh boy. I think we need another pitcher. This is their pitcher. Surprised they don't. Oh, I hit the wrong button. It's annoying. If you hit the X or cross button, it just goes right back to the game. Gotta hit circle. Your attention, please. Now pitching. Omar! Probably would be good to use the sinker. Needs some more ground balls usually. And of course it's a fly ball. Quentin McCracken. No, he got out of it. Giving up 12 hits though. So. Uh, yeah, very different than rookie difficulty. No surprise. I mean, just, that's the main thing though. It's just that hitting. I mean, the computer also made three errors on rookie difficulty. Oh. Could pinch hit, but I think I want to leave him in there to pitch, so. so I'm stuck having him swing away. I played before, I just kept trying to bunt. I kept missing the ball, I couldn't get a bunt down. I managed to steal one base on an attempted you know, run, steal, and bunt at the same time, and I missed the bunt and still made it. Actually, the ball beat him, I don't know how I got a stolen base last game. It looked like I was out by quite a bit. I was also messing around a lot, and I was getting... The ball was rolling to the, to the wall on uh, the errors. So I, I went for some inside the park homers. I didn't make it, but I couldn't find the slide button either. I kept trying to plow the uh, catcher over, but it would not work. The crowd's getting uh, restless here because I'm moving so bad. Well, there's a good one. Will we even get a double out of it? I don't know. Okay, I did find the slide button because I looked at the manual before I started this game. Alright, but there's two out. Can we get him in? Oh, that's too bad. Well, we got our second hit. Three innings to go. Miguel Cairo. Stopped his second, so he's only getting double out of that. Should have had at least a triple. I'm not sure how to throw to the cutoff, so I just threw to the thing. Plowed him off the base. I was gonna. I wasn't really doing anything. I didn't know I could smash into him like that. Ah, 
off Red McGriff. Another hit. For two easy strikes, I should not have gone back to the sinker. Oh, this guy's three for three. Yes, there's kind of gaps in the, the crowd on that second deck. It's doing the same thing last game. Sometimes they're flickering in and out. The crowd's perfectly flat. It's really oh, ugly. Strikeout. Yeah. Nice, very nice. I can't tell it's on the uh, center field billboard there, the scoreboard area. All you can see is like a looks like a chicken or a rooster, maybe. I guess a rooster or not. Guy wearing a tie. <laughs> Under the scoreboard. Let's say say goodbye to something. Oh, that's pretty gay. Oh. Hmm. How can we get him to go after him? Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the seven. Yeah, despite all the hits, I think my pitching is still pretty decent. Just wish I could get some hits. Oh, there we go. Is that gone? It looks gone. Oh, I almost hit the roof. Very nice. That's pretty far. That's really far, actually. Of course, it's too high. Wow. Matt Williams. Well, he's got to run. Of course, the Diamondbacks would change their uniforms later, too. This is the purple and teal with the pinstripes. Couldn't get that through. Kareem Garcia. Come on, baby. George Fabregas. I don't think I have anyone really much better on the bench. No, oh, there's a hit. So it's only worth pinch hitting for the pitchers Tony Batista Yeah, that's a little lead on that. Come on, talk to me, talk to me. Oh, he's gonna catch it. Some quick outs. Wilson Alvarez. They're not changing their pitcher. Three pitches, three outs. Okay, time to pinch hit for Dahl. You know he's doing good. to use let's see bench is rather weak it's only two people with even a hundred at bats 
They all have terrible averages. Yep. <laughs> Try this guy, I guess. Oh wait, did I did I change him? Or did I hit the wrong button? No, he's in there. Oh wait. Yeah, now I'm hitting all the wrong, <laughs> wrong buttons. <laughs> yeah, let's try Delici. Oh, how do you back out of this? But they're still showing doll. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that worked at all. That was. It looks like it's still doll. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Oh, well. Yay, another hit. Hesitant to even attempt to steal because I really need base runners and I don't want to risk getting out. Pitch out there. Oh, oh it's a little late. Oh, I should have never saw him. I knew that was going outside. I just can't lay off. Uh. Oh, is it gone? Nice. I wasn't sure it was going to clear the wall. Oh, I'm making a game of it. Matt Williams. See, can we go back to back? Oh, now they're changing pictures. Your attention, please. Now pitching. Esteban Young. Mm, I don't know if that was a strike or not. It's a little inside, maybe. Nice hit. Can you make it to second, though? That is the question. Oh, I a slow throw. This is a big run if I can get it in. Go through. Uh, oh well. Pitcher throws rather slow. Hey, okay, ninth inning. Need a new pitcher. Willie Blair. Jeff Supon, maybe. A Springer. Hmm. Try this guy, maybe. Quentin McCracken. Mixing up the pitches there, pretty good. Miguel Cairo. You know, opening day, well, I'm gonna try to get this up opening day morning, according to the day before, but the weather outlook's not so good where I'm at. Kind of happens early though, in the first week of the season or two. I, I usually would start, I think, in warmer weather stadiums. But they're not this year, and Detroit is at home, and let me tell you, where I'm at, opening day is looking really bad, weather-wise. It was 70 degrees here yesterday. Michigan weather takes some massive swings in the span of a day or two. Not <laughs> somewhat often. So opening day is looking like it's going to be in the 30s. The start of the game. 
It's going to be freezing. A little cold for baseball, I'd say. There's a chance of snow. It's not going to accumulate after it's been so warm for a while, but... That was a good pitching, anyway. You could see some flurries. But the season's so long, you can't really start it later. Right down by two runs, bottom of the ninth. Oh, the pitch is so slow, and it just dropped. Get somebody on base here. George Fabregas. And try to hit a home run. All right, last out. Tony Batista. Yeah, I yeah, took it. Yes. I'll stop at second. I could probably go farther. It's just why risk it? It's not going to make a difference. Now batting, number oh, the pitcher's up. Gosh, I give me the. Uh... Yeah, I don't know if I did this right last time. There we go. Oh, there's two outs, man. We're going to get back to the start of the lineup. This is the ninth batter. Oh, he's not going to make it. Oh, well. It was a good game. Started getting there. Almost had to come back. The two errors hurt, and they just got so many hits. This is that grand slam that killed me, though. Thought that grand slam, they only had one run. Alright, it's gonna load some stats now. Which takes a little bit of time. Sure, why they chose to show the guy that went over four in there? The thing I don't think it shows anywhere is the uh, who got the errors. You see all their hits. A lot of guys in a row. Two, 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 three. Hard of the line up there. You can also call it the uh, season stats. Pitcher stats, I didn't strike out too much, only five times. I actually struck out more on the rookie difficulty. Let's see how the Diamondbacks did. Oh, there's the pitching stats. Struck out more of them, nine strikeouts there. That grand slam, man, that was awful. Yeah, not a lot of hits either. Still got to see a couple home runs, uh, three overall. That's a good game. Well, thanks for watching.